Okay, actually what you need to do is pretty simple. All you're going to need to do is run the UT patcher that the mod supplies inside of your proton prefix for Katana Zero. And before we get started on that, you're going to need to get the files from any of these links. I'll leave them also down in the description uh, along with the trailer for this uh, mod. Now, what you need to do is basically just open Proton Tricks. If you don't have that installed, uh, I'll leave down uh, instructions in the description uh, on how to install those. What you're going to want it to do is select Katana Zero, wait for it to load, because for some reason it takes a little bit, so definitely wait, don't be impatient. What, you're, what you want to do is select the default prefix and then run the explorer, which is going to give you a pop-up over here. So, you, you want to navigate to your files that you extracted, which are over here in my case. This file is not included. This one is not included either. I put them there for convenience, convenience sake. Uh, you're going to want to get this from your game files, which I'll show in a minute. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to browser do downloads, in my case, and then basically get the utpatter.exe running inside the proton prefix. Now, what you want to do now is apply the patch, as it says here. But before you do that... You're going to want to go to Steam and navigate to your game files, like so. If you press this, a window like this should pop up and you should see data.win, which you should copy over here. I already have it there, so I'm just going to replace it. Up, and then you have to uh, press apply patch. Navigate to said file. And original data.win. Remember that you need to press apply patch. If you do create patch, then you will break the patching and you will need to reinstall the mod and do this all over again. The universal patch file is inside of the patch folder over here, as you can see. Navigate to that. And then it says modify data.win. Now this one's a little confusing because I don't know how you're supposed to have modified data uh, before even applying the patch itself. So, uh, so I figured this one's the one that's going to be written onto with the patch. So I just created a dummy file and then wrote it onto that, which is over here. This one's an already patched file, so I'm just going to make a new one. Uh, via touch and then it should be over there now navigate to that and this is one of the many advantages uh, that Linux over has over Windows for modding things like these because this is a little confusing to do on Windows I ha actually don't know how to do it on Windows because of this and you're going to want to replace it and once it says success, you will see that the icon has changed. If you're using an icon font which has the same icons for all of these .win files, that's fine. But on my icon font, it changes. That's just how you can tell that, it's, that it worked. Now, what you want to do right now is get your files here. You can close Proton Tricks and all that. You want to go to files and then copy all of these into your game files. I already have the files in there, so I will just replace them. These are also the names of uh, some files that already exist in the game. So don't be surprised if you see replace uh, as the option when you try to copy them. And 
As you can see, we have a patched .win file. You're going to want to get that. Oops, never mind, I copied the wrong thing. Uh, and you want to copy it and rename it to data.win. So you're going to want to delete the original data.win. Rename the patched one to data.win. And after that, your game should be ready to play. Uh, it might take a second or two uh, to get it working under certain systems like mine. So the launch may take a little bit, but in this case it didn't. Which is great, because I'm recording a video. <laughs> uh, if you're having issues with launching the game, make sure you have uh, gotten out of the prefix uh, under Proton Tricks, because if you're currently using the Proton prefix to run a program, such as the Explorer that we used earlier, the game will not open. I experienced this while I was trying to record this video, and it didn't work, so be be wary of that. Don't try to open the game while you have Explorer open. It's not gonna do anything, but it's just not gonna open and you're gonna think something's gonna... something's wrong. Anyway, that's it. That's how you do that. And this method can also be used for a lot of other games. I think you can do this for Frostbite engine games? I'm looking into that, so don't trust me on that. But yeah, that's how you do it, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like to hack the algorithm, follow me on Odyssey, and yes, this is a copy of Mental Outlaws Outlaws uh, out, outro. And I can't even say that properly.